when forests in tropical uplands are cleared, the process of soil erosion accelerates and the surrounding ecosystem rapidly degrades. When soil erosion occurs upon an upland farmer's field, the results are soil loss and nutrient depletion, reduced crop yields, and a further complication to the daily struggle for survival. In 1990, I began to cultivate this land and have seen that soil erosion caused by heavy rain is a problem because it doesn't only erode the soil but also my crops. Some time ago, I heard about a new technology called NBS or Natural Vegetative Strips. I adopted the technology in my field and I have observed that it requires less labor to establish and it's effective in controlling soil erosion. NBS is an alternative conservation farming technology which is very simple to establish because you don't need sophisticated materials to establish. But it is established by just uh, allowing the natural vegetation to grow. And it is very easy to maintain. And this is uh, very effective in controlling soil erosion. I am only a tenant. So before the area was contoured, I consulted the landowner who had no complaint about the idea of establishing the contours because it is mutually beneficial. Even though I don't own the land, I still want to conserve the land because it is my source of food and income. Besides, the grasses can be fed to the cows. Natural vegetative strips are not really a new thing. Some farmers have been using them for years, for they're a traditional practice that we've seen in a few areas of the Philippines. What's new is that scientists and extensionists have begun to realize that this traditional practice makes sense. It's a simple solution for a big problem. Natural vegetative strips are so easy to install that farmers are eager to adopt them when they're aware of the practice. Many farmers and their families are unfortunate in having to farm steep, fragile hillsides. But with natural vegetative strips, they can do so and expect to maintain their yields continuously over years. They won't have to abandon their farms because soil loss has caused their yields to decline. Natural vegetative strips, which are planted 8 to 12 meters apart, will effectively control and protect soil particles from being detached and transported as the result of erosion by rainfall. So these strips are the key to the soil erosion concept. They provide the barrier and increase the infiltration of water so that the soil particles accumulate behind the barrier rather than running off the field. As years pass, a hillside with natural vegetative strips will be preserved and transformed into terraced alleyways, thus increasing crop yields and greatly diminishing the problems of erosion. How do natural vegetative strips benefit the community? Well, they keep the soil on the land, not in the streams, and therefore they protect the quality and quantity of the water that people use as drinking water. In addition, for the lowland communities, by keeping the soil on the land, they protect against siltation of the irrigation systems. They reduce flooding of the big lowland cities. And they keep the fisheries on the coastal zones from being destroyed by sedimentation. Determining the contour line is very important in laying out the NVS. This can be done by using either A-frame or the houseback method. A -frame can be made using a simple indigenous material. This is simple but effective in locating the contour line. While the cowsback method is by just uh, observing the angle of the back of the cow as the cows walk across the slope. And this cowsback method, the laying out of contour line is incorporated during the land preparation. Sa akong paghimo sa contour line kung nat, uh, NBS, natural vegetative strip, pinag To establish NBS, I determined the contour line using the cow's back method. 
when the head and the back of the cow is level, this means I am plowing along the counter line. But if the cow's back goes down or uphill, it means that it's not following the correct counter line. Kung balance ang likod ug ulo sa baka. Naturally, over time, as terraced alleyways are formed, scouring can occur. Scouring is the effect of good soil from the upper alley slowly being carried down to the lower alleys, thus reducing soil fertility in the upper alleys. To compensate for scouring in the upper alleys, farmers simply apply fertilizer to achieve a greater balance of nutrients which have been depleted in upper alleys. Some farmers would like to have further value uh, by planting uh, fruit trees, timber trees, fodder grasses and legumes and other uh, cast perennials. These uh, plants not only uh, enhance uh, soil conservation measures but also increase uh, farm productivity which means increased income to the household. After I established my NBS, I improved them by planting perennial crops on the hedge row like timber trees, bananas, and fruit trees. The timber tree can be used in constructing a house, can be sold as lumber, and can also be used as firewoods. The fruits can be sold for additional income, and the wood can be used for construction and firewoods. And the grasses can be used as fodder for livestock, and this saves my time in looking for grasses. We've certainly seen big changes in the years that we've worked here in the tropical uplands of northern Mindanao. When we first came and we asked farmers, why do you plow straight up and down the slopes? It accelerates the soil erosion, it makes it faster. But they said, it's easier, it's less work to plow up and down the hill. But today, when most farmers have changed their practice and plow along the contour, now we ask them, why do you do it? They say, because it's easier, it's less work. So that's an example of the kinds of changes that can occur in an agricultural community when the norms of agriculture change over time. Not all farmers fully practice a conservation farming today, but we know now it's only a matter of time. There are more than 2,000 farmers in this area who have implemented NBS in their farms. But there are more farmers out there who have problems of soil erosion and needs to put NBS on their farm. We can further reach them out by having information, education, and communication through slide showing, training, and invite and attract the interest of local government units to support the activities of this conservation technology dissemination as what we have experienced in Liberia. Uh, sa pagsugod yun ako sa akong pag-uma, akong nakita na obserbahan nga... When land care was first introduced to me, I was doubtful. To cross visits, I saw how farmers conserved their area and how their yield increased. I was convinced and I realized that what land care taught me about soil conservations is the solutions to have better production. In my understanding, this would help me in conserving my land and increase production and aside from that, we could help protect the environment. Natural vegetative strips are a starting point for farmers who want to sustainably care for their land, a starting point which encourages education, mutual cooperation, and an improving quality of life. This video was produced by the International Center for Research in Agroforestry with financial support from the Cornell International Institute for Food and Agricultural Development. Support for research was provided in part by the United States Agency for International Development.
and Cooperación Española, the Spanish International Cooperation Agency.